There's a lot of parameters here in the lens shader, and most of them ultimately have to do with the line width and line quality on top of whatever you specified at the material level. So the way I like to think of the lens shader is as a multiplier to the scene as a whole. And all these parameters here are criteria that are factored into the final resulting line weight. So, so generally when I'm tuning these parameters in a lens shader, I'll usually start with the taper parameters fairly early on since they have a pretty significant impact on the look and weight of the final line. These taper parameters are enabled as soon as you specify a non-zero value in the amount field. And in my case, I may not see a too, too big of a change right off the bat since my base spread here is 1 and my minimum and maximum spread values are also 1. These minimum and maximum values allow you to specify gradient between a given angle of incidence. So these minimum values describe the weight that's mapped to surfaces that are facing us. In, in our case, it would be the center of the face, for instance. And the maximum values here describe the weight that's assigned to surfaces that are receding away. In, in our case, it would be the outer edge of her collar and, and maybe the jaw, for instance. So if I set, a, for instance, 0 in the minimum field, and one in the leave one in the maximum field. What I should expect is the lens shader should favor the receding edges and thin out the areas that are facing us, like so. Conversely, if I set the minimum value to one and the maximum value to zero, the lens shader should favor the center of the character and thin the line as the surfaces recede away. All right. So, but g generally, I, I usually don't have things set to you know I, either one or zero. Um, in, in my case, I'll usually set the smallest value in the spread field, uh, either min or max, to be the thinnest that I absolutely need the line to be in order to be legible. So, in this case, I'll keep the small end of my um, gradient to be the the minimum field, and I'll set the high end of the gradient to be the maximum field. I'll, I'll try setting it to 1.5 and see what I get. Cool. Okay. So, so basically, the, the, by tuning the, the floor and ceiling of the minimum and maximum value, you can adjust the, the, the taper of the, the line from the center to the outer edge of your character.